Hello everybody, my name is Bloody Elevator, and welcome back to Spire Nights. Well, it's time to head on out for another Chatelier Expedition. Here's our equipment that we'll be working with for today. Our Chaos Set, a Swift Strike Buckler, an Elite Slash Module, an Elite True Shot Module, a Combustor, Arcana, Groom Repeater, and lastly, our Winter Grave. Also, we'll be having Masquerade joining us for today with an Elite Dark Harness and Swift Steps 2. Everything is fully leveled up and this should be enough for today's adventure. It's time to face the Ice Queen, the Shadow Layer version of the Royal Jelly Boss. Well, how will we do this time? Time to find out. Let's do this. Just to let you know, I am not perfect at this game, so don't be surprised if you see me dying a couple times in this attempt. Also we're doing this on Elite Mode because I think there's some fun to be had in having a good challenge. But we are working towards getting better at this game, even if the growth isn't as fast as it would be nice to be at, if that makes sense. If you hear any noise in the background, it's raining where I am right now, and this video is due soon. Plus, I'm not sure if my current audio editing skills can edit out the sound of rain. Sorry about that. Now, these Chatelier Expedition videos aren't really meant to be how-tos or guides. They're kind of just more for gauging how well I'm able to perform these specific Chatelayers at my current level. So there will be a lot of deaths happening, but once we complete them all, we'll try to redo these shadow layers again in a more competent way. But that's much later on. Once we've explored and done an expedition for each of the shadow layers for these videos, at least once. Just like the previous shadow layer attempts, this video will have very few edits. The only thing that's going to be edited is the loading times because watching loading times aren't exactly fun. So everything except for the loading times from the start of the shadow layer to the end of the sanctuary will be unedited. And just like last time, I'm going to spend the first few minutes talking about stuff that we're working on at the moment and probably stuff that's to come for this channel. After that, I'll just stay in the background while pointing out any deaths and saying what we could do better if we do this again. Anyways, Winterfest is currently taking place. We're currently working on farming the tokens that we need to try and see what we can get near the end of the event. We just need to work on farming the Grinchlin Assault Mission, the Save Winterfest Mission, and looking in the arcade for a specific room to farm the wishlist tokens. And if we're lucky, the humbug hat that drops from the ninja gremlins in the Save Winterfest mission, and maybe the gold and silver Silicis rings from the Grinchland Assault mission. But they're quite rare, so here's hoping that we get lucky and find what we're looking for. Not only that, there's a few other things taking place, like the solicitous prize boxes that are being sold, and the slime casino happening during the Winterfest. If we have some free time, maybe we'll try our luck at farming slime lockboxes. I was being silly right here and walked right into that one. I think I was paying more attention to that big red slime over there, and somehow forgot about the slime turrets below. I should have just stopped moving or stayed near some cover until safe to attack. That one was my bad. Something similar happened here. I thought I just dodged that, but I didn't, and this happened. I should have just stopped moving or found cover instead. Okay, I messed that part up. I think I paid too much attention to the enemies that were in front of me instead of the projectiles. 
I need to go and take a page from one of my Dream the Nightmare videos and pay more attention to what is happening around me instead of what needs to be on the business end of our weapons. We've got a couple videos that are coming out soon. One of them being the preparation video that'll be coming out soon. And I'm working on the video that comes out soon after that. It's something new for this channel, but that one is a surprise. I'll tell you more about it later. And for now, that's all the stuff that I can think of talking about. So here's a quick recap. Winterfest, as well as a bunch of other smaller stuff, is happening in-game. And quite a bit of farming will need to be done for those events. A late preparations video will be coming out soon. And a new video for this channel will hopefully be coming out after that. Other than what has just been said, there's not much else to say, so... What will be happening instead is that I'll just be staying in the background, commenting on any deaths that happen in game, and possibly explaining what could have been done instead. As well as explaining any behaviors that I might be doing in game. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the video.
I think I wasted my dash here a bit too early. And those slime turrets are kind of dangerous. They need to have the most priority and should be destroyed once you see one. Unless it's one of those infinitely respawning ones. Do you think Bloody is going to take some pot shots at these enemies right here? Yes! If the game is going to give you an advantage over the enemies, then why not use it?
Here I had the genius idea of using the statue to block the projectiles. And as you see here, it worked flawlessly. It backfired. What are you talking about? This was all according to plan.
Here I thought it would be a great idea to put the explodey purple slimes as far away from me as possible, as they have caused me a lot of deaths in my previous attempts. You stay in there and think about what you just did. You know exactly why you're in timeout, young slime. So for this room, the only strategy that I could come up with to not die was to keep destroying one of the slime turrets while trying to aggro the enemies over to you, while also dodging the other slime turret. It kind of works because of how far away the turrets are from each other. For whatever reason, I couldn't do something similar in this specific room, so I just resorted to using the potshot method. Alternatively, we could have just hit all the buttons, grabbed the key, and then booked it out of there without hitting a single enemy. But that probably would not have been fun. So for these ones, 
There were times that I just couldn't get the ice slimes inside the boxes to attack me. So I just attacked the boxes and very likely backed away because if they weren't going to attack before, they definitely will now. Did you think I was going to get through this room without dying? Well, it's nice to think that it could have happened if I paid a bit more attention to those spikes. They always get me. Maybe next time I'll try using that gate right there as a barrier.
It's a Christmas miracle! We have a love puppy on the right side of the battlefield. Yeah, that can help turn the tide of the battle. Except, Bloody forgot to aggro the puppy for the first few minutes. This one is both my fault and is kind of ridiculous because I thought it was safe. Either I'm being crazy, or it's possible that the game might have corrected itself in place of where the game thinks I am compared to where I think I am in game. In my earlier attempts, I think I tried using the Winter Grave here, but whenever I saw at least two butterflies, I broke out the combustor because while the Winter Grave is cool and everything, it's a bit slow when there's two butterflies restoring health like crazy. Love puppy? A little help please? Oh no, not the lag. Not now at least. Come on game, give me a break here. Yeah, there is so much happening on screen right now that I didn't even realize that there was a spike heading towards us. What we should have done instead was get farther back to give us some more reaction time. Uh, finally, it's almost over. Now it's just the love puppy and I. Thank you, love puppy. Uh, that's just what the doctor ordered. Hopefully they didn't have a true love locket because because if I attacked the love puppy and it dropped there, I don't think we would have been able to get it. Here we are, time for the boss fight. If it's anything like the Royal Jelly Boss, we should be just fine. Time to kick butt, Grim Repeater.
Please don't freeze. Yes, we did it. We did something right, and we didn't die. Now that's what I'm talking about. Wow, that went much better than I expected. Let's get our treasure, defeat the swarm, and craft our new armor. That was great. Why is this thing here? What is the purpose of this thing that's blocking the players from just going straight up? Anyways, I'm going to try to use mostly the combustor here if possible because I managed to do the swarm part here deathless before in the Snorbolox Shadow Lair expedition, but I don't remember how to do that now.
Oh, we were so close to defeating the swarm deathless again. I got double teamed right here. That was my bad. Oh well, maybe next time. The door is open. Run, bloody, run! Phew. We made it to the sanctuary. And there is our celestial ore. Let's go and craft our new armors. Here comes our new Ice Queen Crown. As well as our Ice Queen Male. Lastly, if I'm correct, the other thing that uses Celestial Ore is the Heavenly Iron Helm. Yep, that was it. And now we have a Heavenly Iron Helm now, with a unique variant. What did we get? Low increased normal defense. Eh, that's okay I guess. Hopefully, we now have all the armors that can be crafted using Celestial Ore. We probably could have bought the extra materials from the auction house for all the other armors. But that might take the fun out of dying so many times for these Shadowlair videos. Plus, I didn't want to have to heat up that many 4 star armors. Well, we have the Ice Queen set now, and half the Heavenly Iron Armor set now. We'll get the other piece once we fight the Romulus Chatelier, but that's for another video for a later time. The Ice Queen Chatelier Expedition was a success. Let's head back home. We hauled in some good stuff here. And that's all I have to show with you for now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Oh, you're back already? Again? I just got another Shadowlar video off for you. There aren't any videos ready for uploading at the moment. Well, anyways. While I have you here, we're working on farming the Winterfest event. The late preparations video will be coming out soon enough. Oh, that's right, the other video that I was talking about. I'll give you a sneak peek on the project that Bloody has been working on. Oh yeah, Bloody is making a custom built computer. That video will be coming out later this week. The case however has not arrived in the mail yet, so hopefully it'll arrive soon. And when it does, I'll get to work on that video as soon as possible. Well, I've already said my outro. So I wish you a happy holidays and a great up and coming new year. 
I'll see you later.